And we're back. It's your boy MD Nocturnal Duck here with a brand new deck for you and your sweet, sweet head. So what do we have today? We have Fires of Fay. This is mwah, man. Come on. This is the meal of the of the century. This is this is my magic meal right here. I am hungry, and this is a good good feed. So I will stop talking because I'm getting pretty hungry. You can hear my belly rumbling. I'm gonna make some food. I mean, I'm gonna do a deck tech. Come and join me. And we're back, Nocturnal Dark here. Thank you so much for your patience, everybody. I moved 14 nails down the coast with the big, huge fires, Christmas, New Year's, crazy, absolutely craziness. And I'm finally here, finally set up and ready to roll, ready to do this. I've got a couple of decks that I'm keen to show you. I wanna get a few more drip, drips of juice, squeeze the last bits of juice out of this current meta before Theros drops, which I'm so excited for. But I really wanted to sort of gain as much out of this last two weeks with you guys while it's like the current meta is. So the first deck that I wanted to showcase to you guys is something that's got my attention very much so and I'm very excited about this deck. I wanted to have a triumphant return to you guys with something that has impressed me and hopefully will impress you. So without further ado, this is the Bruskin. So the whole thing's brewed around fires of invention and fey of wishes, but that's not just, that's not all. You know how I am. I have to make it super janky. Uh, this jank is good. It's good jank. It's good jank. <laughs> so fires of invention on turn four, and then uh, we get to cast one more spell that turn. We drop our route, which puts two more lands into the battlefield. So our next turn, we actually are ready to play Agent of Treachery. So that's pretty much ramps us up, which is crazy. Crazy awesome when you play it this way. So yeah, turn four, fires and route. So that's an amazing turn. And then turn five, we drop a land and play Agent and steal one of their lands. So that puts us up to being able to cast anything from eight or less, two of them in our turns and they're actually down to turn four. So that like incredible advantage, incredible advantage. And that's not actually that hard to combo off and make happen. So with that all said and done, what else does this involve? So Fires of Invention is going to work crazily good with Fey of Wishes. So turn four fires, turn, and the last spell of that turn, sorry, is the granted side of this. So we can dig into our sideboard and get things we need and I'll show you that later. So that's another turn four combo that we can do. But the other sort of shenanigans that I wanted to do is sort of, you know, dig as much land out of our deck as we can, as quick as we can, so we can cast everything from our deck with this. Whatever we draw, we can cast. And that's the whole idea. So Gross Spiral, Risen Reef, these things are going to just pump lands out of our deck. Same with the route, and then this is set up to play our entirety of our deck. And the whole deck doesn't just, obviously our sideboard with our Fae of Wishes, so we've got some chunkier things in there to do. But with just the current deck, casting everything in here is in incredible. Our time wipe works amazing with everything, so we can return it, agent, kill everything, play it again. And you can do that back to back with Fires of Invention too. You can drop an agent, steal one of their lands, time wipe, kill all of their creatures, bring him back to your hand. Amazing. Or, or if he's already out, you can time wipe and then play him again. So those two back to back just instantly ruin their day. Our Kenrith works amazing with Fires. He comes down and then all of our lands are untapped. So he's turned on instantly. We can give him haste and our Golden Eggs give us the ability to pretty much use all of his abilities, which is awesome. So we can gain five life pretty consistently over and over again, plus extra life here if we really need it. <coughs> Pardon me. Our Tamiyo is here because she just goes crazy bonkers, you know, like she can return things from the graveyard time wipe and then for free cast, you know what I mean? If we've got fires down with six lands and her, then we can just, or oh, seven lands and her, we can just bring this back and play it. 
bring this back and play it you know so it just works really good plus we can dig out cards that we need if we really do need them um plus uh, you know i feel like when they do destroy something or they kill they destroy the fires of invention or they kill the agent of tetry we can we're not worried we're not overly worried about that stuff we can also grow spiral risen reef if we really need it at the right time prison realm so she does have a lot to do with the deck um plus um <clears throat> our uh, brazen borrower this thing is uh, you know probably the card i'm most on the fence about i was considering taking out both of these and putting in two more prison realms but i instead put the risen realm into the sideboard and I feel like having a 3-1 flyer can be pretty handy. You know, you can only block flyers, which is probably good because that 3 damage chipping away is going to win us the game. Like, we, we don't have any big hitters, if you've noticed. There's nothing in this deck that's going to do anything. Like, Kenworth's a 5-5 five five and that's the biggest one. So how do we win this game? We're just, like, constantly killing their creatures, constantly stealing their things, constantly gaining enough life back to stay in the game and casting everything for free but where are we getting with it all so obviously in the sideboard so in the sideboard i've got the lucky clover we can dig out so we can start using our fair wishes better um there's the prison realm uh law mage binding just to sort of slow down and tempo them our royal scions is in here for a very particular reason which we'll get to jace is here because temio is going to help sort of dig through our deck and millis Risen is going to do the same. Our deck's going to get very thin with gross spirals and stuff like this. So, you know, he can win us the game if our deck gets pretty low. And I've got two copies in case they destroy it or counter it or whatever when we really need it. Um, a th there's our fourth Fires of Invention in case we haven't found it. Two more Tamios to complete the set. Awakening of Vitu Ghazi. Now, this is our alternate win con pretty much. This is our big creature. So if we can use the, all of these combos to sort of tempo them down enough that they're pretty much just top decking, we keep gaining life and taking whatever they're putting down and just digging out other things that we can use, they just sort of sit there and watch us and then all of a sudden we drop a big 9-9 nine nine and swing in. Now I know that this is an instant and fires of invention mean we can't play it in their turn. But Fires of Invention mean we can play it and still play another spell after anyway. So, and it does have haste, so we can do that in our turn. <sighs> Pardon me. We can do that in our turn and attack with it straight away, which is incredible. Absolutely incredible, especially if we go, um, you know, we dig out one of these. Next turn, we time wipe everything. Play our Vitugazi and swing in with a 9-9. You can definitely start chipping away their life. And they usually scoop before we get there, but I have done that one or two times. First opponents, I ha it has been a long game. If they don't scoop, this deck can definitely play the long burn game, the slow burning game. But it also moves very quickly when you, when you by saying that. You know, all of these things, these late game things get to be played real quick. So... And our time wipe is our other, uh, our last card in our sideboard. So we can find that if we really need it in the right situation. But there is one thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to take out one of these temple gardens. And I wanted to put another red source in here. Maybe. I don't know if I've got two of those. No, we don't. But we should have another one of them. Yes, we do. Okay. So that's the deck. You know, it all glues together incredibly well. It's very comfortable to pilot. You're not overly worried through the course of the game. You're dealing with all of the creatures. You're clearing the board with big with time wipe, like a big sweeper. You're gaining 5 life, 10 life, 15 life in a turn sometimes. You're stealing all of their lands. And you're using your sideboard as your main sort of deck. This is this deck's pretty much just a just the carriage. It just sort of coasts along for you while you slowly cherry pick from here the win con you really want. <laughs> so that's what makes me feel like it's an enjoyable deck to pilot. It's um, a, a very much a toolbox, very much a toolbox style deck. 
But that's enough chin flapping from me. I've enjoyed having this conversation with you guys. It's been a while. <laughs> I'm gonna mulligan that. Yeah, that's better. I'll put back the agent. Don't need him for a while. Okay. Let's see what they're gonna do here. Alright. Black. Fantastic. Uh, they're all gonna. I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? We're gonna red down. Sweet. That's perfect. So next turn, we are ready to cast it. Sure. Enters tapped. Auto pay. Enters tapped. There you go. And he ramped up by one. And that's fine. He's really gonna hate prison realm on that thing. I actually kind of need. Yeah, that's good. Um, so I think I think we go into the sideboard. Bit to Gazi straight off the bat, imagine that. Um, okay, so at this stage, I am going to get that. It's going to help. So, does he have an answer for the fires? Because the next turn I'm bouncing the token. He does. Oh, you're gonna regret that, buddy. Okay, so I am getting low on health here. I'm gonna have to get the Kenneth down and gain a life, gain some laugh. Sure. Pretty nifty. So I could go fair wishes and time wipe. No, I think I go this. And then we'll attack him, why not? He's taking it. 
nice. Okay, so that's leveled the game out a bit. Okay, so you're gonna bounce something to my hand now? Maybe he still could. If he commits more to the board, I'm good. I can time wipe. Mm-hmm. Go back to 15. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy, old pal. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay, so... I right, find your wishes. And then time wipe. Yeah, I reckon we... I reckon we fire wishes. <clears throat> and then we gain five life. Back up to 20, please. <laughs> and we'll go to 25, why not? And then we'll go to combat. So it has to block here. Okay, nice. Is he just going to take it? I'm back up to 25, dude. You're better off throwing them all under the bus to kill him. <laughs> but he doesn't know I've got time wipe, does he? How would he know that? He's taking it. Wow. He's going to be so sad. So Kenneth's done all the work in the world for us. He's about to scoop, I can feel it. <laughs> oh, I love this deck. I love this deck. Next turn we're getting two, like a Vitugazi and our Scions. Oh, please let us do it. Please let us do it. He's just like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> How did you get 25? It looks like he's letting this, ha this happen. Ooh, that's a nice one. Yes, let's go and dig out two things, shall we? Yes. And... Yes. Alright. So. <clears throat> that was our first spell. If our time wipe is going to fold for sure. I think we put this guy up. Unless he's got a counter spell. Dragon, he's got a counter spell. Still could. Oh, that's cool. Of course, I'm gonna swap. 
course I'm gonna swap. So I'm gonna go Scions first because if he's got a counter spell. And then we do Gazi on the bluesy. And then and there we go. Good game, buddy. Thanks for sticking around. So we got to see the win con, that big chunky win con. What are you doing? <clears throat> Mizzle fizzle. Okay, thank you. That was a good game. <laughs> I ended on 20 life. Back to the stop. Stopped. Yeah, that was good. That was a good example. That was a good example. On to the next. I am going to keep this. We can get to the third land, which is pretty good. Okay, this could be a bit of a faster game than I would have liked. And I'm just doing it now. Don't want to do all the triggers. One more land. For sure. I guess another one. <laughs> Need to fix up the red. Need to put some a red basic land in there. Sure. Need to put down now. Hmm. Interesting. Now he's going to have removal for the king. We're off waiting for fires for that. I reckon we go for a draw here. <laughs> okay, so I could get a fires intervention now, which is, wouldn't be a bad idea. Got the egg down. One more land and we can take some of their things. He's only got three land, so... Hmm, what's he gonna do here? Looks like he's missed the land. <laughs> he's so unsure. He knows I'm gonna have fires next turn. What are you doing, man? Far out. Jeez. So indecisive. Nice. And think about that. Why didn't you do that twice? Oh, he would have died, I see. That's the new one him. Okay, so we don't have. Oh, they pay. Cool, 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 cool. We can't do the king just yet. I think we could go to 10. I reckon that's just our best bet. We did not like that.
And a Z Sword Slam and a Death Touch Blocker. Cool. Okay, so we still. And we'll just chill. Chill, chill, chill. So we're gonna gain 10 life here and go back up to 20. Wonder if you can see that. Yeah, sure, buddy. So I got super value out of him. Back to 20. No blocks, thank you. Hmm. We'll get, we'll get one damage in. things shall we <laughs> there we go you can see the writing on the wall just coasting through this all right on to the next yeah this looks good looks like a really good start minus the red and I forgot to put in a red basic land oh nice I haven't seen him for a while for a while a hot minute okay freaking whoa freaking whoa man freaking me out man all right so good old spider this is nice isn't it well, since he's not gonna do, it's gonna do this now. And we'll get our red sauce in. This is where it gets funky. This is where it gets funky crazy. Oh, that's good. That's good news for us. Mm, we've got the gates going on. We got the gates going on. Go and dig these out. We definitely need another green, another white. Okay. Oh yeah. Nice little tempo. Sweet. Okay. 
<laughs> Love it. Okay. Yes. Scry away, buddy. Scry away. Don't know if it's going to help you very much. Yeah, sure. Are you going to swing in? Sure. Okay, no worries. He's just dumping down. He thinks this is my win con. I'm just gonna go up again. for a draw here. No, I don't want that. It's just relentless, this deck. It does not stop. 